Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video for Catalan Studio course. And in this video, we're talking about working with tables in Cucumber. All right, so let's get started. So the objective of this video is this. We are going to work with data tables in Cucumber and also we will see how we can leverage the power of Cucumber's automatic step argument transformation to transform the parameter into any custom types. So as you know, the Cucumber scenarios will have tables something like this, like username and password, and you can enter a value from there. In our previous video, we saw how we can enter the username and password from a feature to a step definition. But this time we are going to use Cucumber table and we'll see how we can pass the parameter from a Cucumber feature file to a step definition file. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Catalan Studio 5.7. Alright, so this is the same project that we have been working so long in our course. And this is the feature file that we were working in our previous video, the login feature. And this is the script folder, as you can see here, that we were discussing in our previous video. Right? So as you can see that in our last video, we saw how we can work with this particular feature file by entering the username and password, something like this. But instead of entering the value, something like this, that we did in our previous video, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to enter the username and password, something like this one. So you can see that it has a value, something like, and I enter the following for login as the username and password. Pretty much the same thing, but just that the implementation is going to be a little different from the one it has. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to copy and then I'm going to create a step definition here. But before that, if you have no idea of how the particular tables actually work in Cucumber, in our Excel automation GitHub, we already have a discussion on how we can leverage the power of tables and how we can work with the tables in Cucumber. And we have already discussed about that in this particular repo, Selenium with Cucumber. And we saw how we can work with a table, something like this. As you can see, we can work with tables, something like a list, and then we can pass an array list of a custom type, or we can also work with a very, very simple type that I will quickly show you right now. So for doing that, I'm going to go over here to the step definition, and then I'm just going to start creating a method here. And, and then I'm going to paste this particular value, enter the following detail. So I'm going to create a method here. So let me try to expand this particular uh, text a little bit so that you can see it more clearly. I enter and here I'm going to start working with the tables. So for working with the table, the first thing you need to do is to have a data type as data table. So you can see that there is something called as data table coming from data table. So this is the package that we need to be looking for. So I'm just going to use that. And then we can call this as table here. And then I'm just going to use list of map of string of string, something like this. And then data is equal to table dot as maps. So this is the method where you can use the string dot class and string dot class to work with the types here. And then here for entering the value within this particular stuff, I'm just going to copy paste these particular value, something like this, the one which we used in our previous video. And for the username this time, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this data of zero dot username. Similarly, data of zero dot password, right? So this particular data of zero is going to be the first value from this particular row because we are passing the column name as username here. And that's why you are getting this one. Similarly, data of zero dot password is going to be this particular value. So we are working with the data table this time instead of using the one which we were doing before, right? So I'm just going to save it and then I'm going to recalculate the steps. You can see that it has mapped right now. And then if I try to run the test this time, so if I just select, oops, I'm going to stop this maybe. 
and if I'm going to run this in the Chrome browser, all right, the Chrome browser has launched. This time it should enter the username and password as admin and admin, and you can see that we got an error. So you can see that the error that we are getting, if I go to the console, you can see that it is saying that unable to set the text null. So basically, it is not getting the text which it is looking for, which is nothing but the username and the password, right? So if I go to the step here, you can see that the username is actually in the capital letter, the N. So it should be in the small letter. So we should map exactly how the column names are. And now if you try to run that, it will run. So basically it is correctly mapping for the column name and it's looking for exactly for which column it should retrieve the data for. So now I'm running the test and you can see that this time it has entered the username and password and the test got passed. So this is how you can work the very, very simple type like using the list of map of string of string and then you can get the value, right? But in our Excel automations GitHub repo for the Cucumber, as you can see here, we were using a list of user of user is equal to new array list of user, right? So if you want to use the same kind of stuff for our Groovy as well with Cucumber in Catalan Studio, how can we achieve this? Well, this can be achieved very, very simply using pretty much exactly the same code. So let me just copy the code from here. And once again, I'm really not going to be talking about this Java Cucumber code because it is already covered in our other videos of Excel Automation channel. So please go ahead and watch there, Cucumber with Java course. So I'm just going to copy this code and then I'm just going to paste the code in here. Since this is going to be a class, so I need to paste it over here. We then need to work with what is called as a list of user. So that's what we did. If I come here, as you can see, just did this one, right? list of user and then we converted this to this particular list and then we were using the username and password. So I'm just going to copy the same code here. I'm just going to paste this particular code. So instead of this particular uh, list of data, let me delete it or let me comment it and then I'm going to paste this code, right? And you can see that this code is legal as well. As you can see, a for loop, something like this, so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it over here. So you can see that this is the users class that we just created. And this one, username, user dot username, user dot password, right? And now to get the value instead of the data of zero, I'm just going to use the user. So let me shrink it a little bit. Now save it. And you can see that this code is kind of legal right now because if you hit user dot you can see that it brings the username and password right because it is a strongly typed this time i'm going to save it and now if i try to run this basically there will be a problem so you will quickly understand what the problem is all about so let me try to run this in the chrome browser so that i can show you what the problem is all right so open the browser and we got the error so if we go to the console and let's try to read the error that we are getting. It basically says that it can't convert the data table to the list of this particular user. So please register the data table with the table entry transformer or the table row transformer for the class com.ea.step.user. So basically there is a breaking change happen with Cucumber. So Cucumber, if you want to convert this kind of type in our earlier Cucumber video series in our Excel Automation channel, we just use something called as Xtreme class, where the Xtreme class was responsible for converting any type, something like this, to a list of type, and then we can work with that. But that was kind of deprecated from Cucumber's latest version, and it's kind of a breaking change. So you cannot just convert or transform the value directly to Xtreme. Rather, you need to write your own custom configurator or transformer to make this happen. So again, custom configurator and transformers are something which is not completely scope of this particular video, but in order to just give you some more information, I'm going to show you how the code is going to look like. So this is the transformer basically. So you can see that this transformer actually has 
something called as configure type registry so you can configure it and then you can transform the value into the values that you are looking for but you can see that this particular defined data table type is actually missing because it is not supported so you need to add the transformer into your package implementation so i'm just going to put them over here so these are the things that you need to have and now you can see that the error is gone right and now if I try to run this particular code, the code will eventually work with the same code that we were working just before that we were getting the error, right? So you can see that this time it is gonna enter the username and password and it's working fine. And the reason why it is working is because we actually have this particular transformer that we have implemented the type registry configurer, right? So it just works fine, but in order to elevate all these kinds of problem, in order to just work directly with this list of user, Catalan Studio team has even more leveraged the power of using directly the list of user. So what you can do is, instead of doing this kind of code that you have seen in here, so let me comment this code as well. You can see where we are leading to now. I'm just gonna copy this code over here. I'm gonna paste this code here. That's it. And now if you try to run this particular code, it's gonna work pretty much exactly like how it was working before. But before that, this particular user that you can see here is coming actually from this guy. So I'm just gonna change this to maybe table. All right. And this particular transformer is gonna be again, gonna be helpful for us to do that transformation because this is our custom implementation that we have already did here so we should have this particular transformer so make sure you already have this if not this code is not going to work so i'm just going to have that over here i'm just going to save it and now if i go to the login feature this time and now if i try to execute this into the session you will see that it is going to open the browser for us and it's going to enter the username and password cool there you go so this is how you can work with tables and work with custom data type with cucumber and one of the most important thing is all our codes are now sitting in github so if you just go to my github repo in our exit automation you can see if i go to the exit automation here and go to the repositories you have something called as catalan cucumber bdd you can see all our codes are actually sitting over there and i'm trying to check in all the code that we are writing over here so this is the git correction i'm using I'm checking in all the cores and all the cores are currently available for you in GitHub repository so you can download whatever code that we have discussed so far. So you will have all the code that we have discussed over here as well. I will be formatting this code a little bit so that you will have more detailed information of what this particular code is actually doing. Right? So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.